Hello everyone, today I am working on Asajj Ventress. She is a character from Clone Wars, which is a Star Wars cartoon. I added a bunch of uh, epoxy sculpt to the top of the head, and here I'm just blending it into the rest of the face. And I thought while I was at it that I would add some extra like wrinkles and make the nose look a little bit more like the character. Once I was happy with the sculpt, I let it dry overnight and let it cure so that it was hard. And once I let it cure overnight, I took a sanding block and sanded it down and then took a finer grit sandpaper just to get out the extra lines and scratches that the harsher sandpaper made. Once that was finished, I took my airbrush and um, I kind of fumbled on recording this because I had to mix so many different colors just to make sure it matched the rest of the body. But I think I did pretty well with the matching, just failed to record it. <laughs> so I did airbrush the face to match the rest of her. So with her face up, I was trying to find a balance between my style and the actual look of the character. Since it is a cartoon, it was uh, I wanted to make sure that it looked like her, but I also wanted to give it a little bit of my style. And as usual, I'm using my pan pastels and some blend the colorless blender. And the pan pastels were really good at uh, blending in the where you could see the seams a little bit from the sculpt that I did. So I'm adding some of the sort of tattoo pattern on her head but after I looked at it for a while it just wasn't the right color so I chose more of a like a gunmetal gray and erased what I had here luckily before I had sealed it and I think that worked a little bit better. As usual I'm adding many many layers of the color uh, uh, the base of the eyes and on the lips. And here I'm just kind of eyeballing the tattoo from the other side just to try and make sure trying to make sure that they match up. And 
Again, blending that seam out a little bit. And I'm using this sort of like Carolina blue color as some, just some of the like little highlight areas or more of a shading, I guess. The character is mainly in grayscale, but um, there are a little bit of touches of blue and red. Just really wanting to get like a dark underbrow um, to make to bring out the fact that this is a villain. She's a very cool character. And after procrastinating for a while, I'm finally going in with the eyes. I measure them out with a usually like a toothpick or a wooden tool or something to try to make sure that they're the same size. I always put it off because I feel like this is probably the hardest part, just making sure that they're symmetrical. <laughs> I'm using the white to blend in that color. It was kind of a, her tattoos are kind of pale, so I didn't want them to overpower the face. So I went back a few times with white and then the gunmetal gray and then the white. Well, you know what? I don't know if it was gunmetal gun gray now that I think about it. I think it was like a gray blue. adding several different colors of blue to the eyes but I want them to be very very blue so I'm not using as much uh, darker colors as I normally would and I'm keeping her pupils smaller than probably any other doll that I've done um, when the pupils small it gives it more of like a an evil look I think uh, the larger pupils seem to look more innocent I was happy to have this chance to do something different. <laughs> I also didn't add eye, uh, eyelashes to this. This is probably one of the first in a long time that I didn't. And um, felt really weird, but it's not really the character to have it, have the eyelashes like that. So here I'm just going in and doing some body blushing and shading. And then um, when I'm done, I'll add the highlights in the eyes and Liquitex high gloss varnish to the eyes and lips. Oops, I do I actually do that last after I give her a few more coats of Mr. Super Clear to seal off everything. If you like this vi video, I would love it if you gave it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.